What's going on, y'all? How you doing? Say, I wanted to, uh... <laughs> Somebody, just do me a favor. Answer me this. How the hell did we get from married with children and Al Bundy, you know, and all the other shows before then or right around <clears throat> to where we are now? To where ignorant little feminine boys, they know how to be more girly than man because they've hung around more women and they ain't got the guts to hang around any men. Just ask old Don Lemon. <laughs> he lived around a bunch of females, then boy does it show. You know, not only from those idiots, ah, there's commercials on the TV about HIV drugs and these prissy looking guys talking about their HIV drugs and all that sickening with all the good looking women that there are on the face of this planet. Well, that just goes to show you what they are inside and feel, you know, because they, they, they're girly. They got no heart. But uh, the HIV drugs and uh, eHarmony even, I saw a commercial, this girly looking little guy ish <laughs> it was just oh my god it's like see if they're not going to be able to get it into the cartoons books through the school because we're stopping a lot of that and a lot of the programming sesame street and all that kind of deal is being brought out in the open disney and the whole nine yards they're going to try to push it some other way because that's you know, something to where the commercials is where everybody sees them all the time, all day and all night. Anybody can see them, you know, and it kind of makes them, you know, start wondering and, you know, they start listening to all these other little idiots that don't even know what they are, much less who they are. You get what I'm saying? But this country was built like men, like me. The ones that got up every damn morning at 4.30, 5 o'clock, you know, to be on the job by 7, work till 3.30, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever, you know. That's what it took to build this country. These little punks don't know shit about that now. They know more about that dumbass little computer that they have in their pocket every day more than they know about anything else. Hell, they can tell you more probably about how to bake some good muffins and, or whatever than they would know the gap on a spark plug or even know what a spark plug is. Hell, for that fact, they even know what tools are. They think they know what toolboxes are. They're so red and pretty and all different kind of colors. Ugh. See what I mean? But they want everybody to believe that this country is going the way that they think and a bunch of pansy little boys and all that. And there's plenty of men out there that need to speak up. Put their worth out there. You ain't got to tell where you live and all that, where you work or nothing. Just tell them, say, well, I, I've been this, I've been that, blah, blah, blah. You know, I know how to weld, I know how to do this, know how to do that. From driving a truck in the whole nine yards. There's plenty of us out there. And we need to speak up. Because I get people hit me up all the time. And main thing. Was uh, somebody from the south of the border. Oh we're already here. Blah blah blah. We don't need this. We don't need that. We just come here to multiply. Blah blah. We already took over this. We already took over that. We are blah, blah. I said yeah. No, no you didn't. Not for long. But yeah, I get that stuff all the time. All the time. 
And then I have to put them in their place. I said, yeah, I see those piles that they're killing people every day. And then we have to turn around and deport them. Yeah, I know what you mean. And then he shut up. People need to speak up, y'all. Our country needs us. And I was thinking, like, I was watching, like I said, the uh, Married with Children the other day. And I was just like, yeah, laughing. It was like, how the hell? You know, and that little old chicken, Marcy, you know, the next door neighbor, she turned out to be one of the biggest idiot, lesbo, woke morons that there is. Now they look into it. Yeah. She was kind of ushering it in with back then. That's what it, you see what I'm saying? How it all just kind of played out. Yeah. A bunch of little chickens like her that thinks she's somebody that she got this, she got that, so she thinks she's good enough to tell everybody else how to live. Yeah, there's good news, huh? But, uh, yeah, men speak up. American men, everybody. Mexi American Mexican, American African men, you know, wherever you were, you know, if you built this country, legally you're here. You know what I mean? I don't care if you like it or you don't. That's, you know, we can't go to your country and get all the benefits like you come to ours and get. Yeah, it's what I thought. But anyway, I got some stuff to do. Y'all take care. I'll be back. There's always more. Later.